Okay, there's the Kielsen, or the whatever you call it, Kielsen strip of Sapele, two layers, scarfed. And yes, I'm using Type Bond 3, and yes, I'm going to completely seal this with epoxy. So um, I don't think it'll be an issue. Uh, and then I'm going to paint it. Uh, the outside and the inside of the boat will be painted. The only thing that won't be painted are the, the walnut decks. Those are going to be uh, epoxy and then spar varnish. Now I'm just uh, matching up these hole patterns so that the, uh, the top and bottom of the mast step box have the same size holes. Okay, here's an update on the sailing canoe, spark sailing canoe. Um, the sandwich floor is in. Uh, it still needs to be filleted. The, the edges have to be filleted. Um, I got the mast step, the bottom part in. And this is, this is not attached yet. Um, I have to seal the inside of the boat before I attach that. Uh, it would be really hard to seal inside there with this thing on. Um... Put a rope on here, go through a copper tube. See the copper tube? I uh, got the keel on. On the bottom of the boat. I rounded that off. Did some filling, some sanding. All right. Uh, this is the block for the lee board, and I thought a lot about the design. Decided to do like a, basically an airfall that's angled up slightly, so it'll deflect more water downward. Um, this lee board. Well, I'm actually converting it. It's a dagger board, but I'm going to convert it to a lee board. Um, haven't attached that yeah, yet. I've decided I'm gonna fiberglass the exterior bottom corners and I'm going to paint the uh, bottom and the side walls and uh, I'm gonna paint the inside a different color and these walnut um, accents will remain walnut except the bottom of the box because I have to paint that and there's no way I can tape off that thing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I really like the look of that. I just, I don't know how I can paint everything on the inside and not mess it up. Well, maybe I just paint the inside. I don't know. What do you think? Alrighty, it's these, uh, these interior edges here and this edge here. Okay, this is something that really gets me uh, ticked off. I bought a four inch port inspection uh, hole and I drilled a four inch hole. And that does not fit. This fits. Right, so there's the, um, that's gonna be the down position of the lee board. It's about uh, 30 inches down, which is, I believe, uh, 75 centimeters below the water line. Um, so, um, 
I have to have a, have a two points of contact. There has to be two points. One is down here, and one has to be as high up as po possible. So I'm going to put a strip of wood just under that chine. Um, and then another one, another here, so that it's captured. So it works on both tacks. Totally perpendicular to the surface. So I've marked... So this hole is exactly uh, four inches from the front. This is 10 inches. And I know for a fact that the middle of this foil, the, the fattest section is at uh, four inches. So that's where I drilled the hole at the fattest section uh, where the surfaces are flat. And I know that this is the middle of the boat and the, it's, I designed this seam to be basically the middle of the centerboard. So this has moved forward one inch and now I'm going to basically stick this in the middle and uh, stick this in here until it says zero. All right, there we go. So there's the board attached. Uh, here's the uh, part of the structure for the top. It's gonna. I positioned it. Uh, there's gonna be a, a two inch block here, and a two inch block here. And uh, I'm gonna put a rope through here, a line. So I stuck my pencil in here and then um, scribed it here as I swung it. So I have to, I have to make a little groove in here for the for the rope. Here's the uh, solution for the inside. Um, originally, I was thinking of just um, gluing this to the wall, but I think this is pretty flimsy. So I just added this, and I still have 26 and a half, 26 and three quarters of an inch in in here. So I can still use a 26 inch right, wide. Here's my 24 inch sleeping pad. It's six foot long. Um, so yeah, I can, I can fit a 26 inch wide in here as well. This one has a, it deflates in the middle of the night, so I don't use it anymore. Um, and all the new ones are 26 inches wide. But as you can see, there's plenty of space. So this canoe was designed around the human, around ergonomics, around comfort. Um, that's why the, the, the middle section of the hull is relatively um, wide and parallel sides. Um, so that's, that's what it was designed for. And the cargo area in the front is approximately 25 inches by 25 inches square. So, and it's 14 inches tall. Actually, uh, it goes uh, 15 inches tall. And you still yeah. have uh, a couple feet over here to uh, shove all the rest of your gear. Okay, there's the lead board. Um, it uh, almost works. <laughs> it goes to here and then it hits there, but I can just trim that off. It's just a little bit of rounding. And it looks like the uh, the hole for the um, rope goes right through there. It's hard to see. Yeah, there's the hole for the rope. Right through there.